It's not a blue Monday today, it's a magic Monday here in Swakopmund. My name is Adam Hartman for Irungu Talk. Talking to you from the Tag restaurant, which is situated next to the famous Swakopmund Jetty. And today we're going to bring you, as always, the weather, which is excellent today. The tides, the sea looks a bit uh, stormy, and uh, the news. It has been a very eventful weekend considering uh, the Premier League rugby and netball that took place at Walfish Bay. And uh, we'll bring you some of the highlights uh, regarding that as well. So uh, stay tuned. And now for our news. As stated, it was an action-packed weekend for Premier League Rugby and Netball at Valvish Bay. And uh, the Kudu Rugby Club, FNB Kudu Rugby Club, put up quite a performance. Um, the uh, club clinched a double victory in their reserve and Premier League Rugby games against the visiting Trusco United at the Jan Wilkins Stadium in the Harbour Town uh, on Saturday. Spurred on by... Uh, vociferous crowd the kudus premier league team showed once again that they are the the team to beat this season with a 43 20 victory uh, while the second team pocketed a 33 17 win uh, the ladies rugby the the luck was not on the side of the kudu bokis with their game being prematurely called off after United suffered numerous injuries. Uh, the visitors had five players down un and unable to continue playing 10 minutes into the game. This forced the referee to call off the match with the score on 7-0 in favour of the injured team. Kudus ladies coach Abraham Farmer did not want to comment on the matter, with some of his players stating that they will not leave this matter as is. In the first division action, Kudus 3 recorded a 14-7 victory over the defending champion Sparta. And then uh, netball action uh, on Sunday. Valfish Bay was home to some great netball action the past weekend with 14 action-packed MTC Namibia netball Premier League second round games played at the netball courts in Huizigmont. The action kicked off on Saturday and continued Sunday afternoon. The coastal teams were in fine form at home with Navy recording three victories. Eleven Arrows and Blue Waters also scored victories. The next games are scheduled for Ongongo in the north, in the north of Namibia. These games were the start of the second round of the league and with conclusion of the first round, Mighty Gunners were at the top of the log, followed by the Namibia Correctional Service Ochochos Jupa, Nampal and Tigers in the fourth position. The scores of the various games and other news can be checked out on our website. But this is not the end of the show, so stay tuned.
Platts Amir is a landmark on the coastline of Namibia, a home to quality shops and quality restaurants, a select variety of fashion and food retailers as well as banks, not to mention the pier with 36 luxury apartments and entertainment for the whole family. Find us at corner of Tavorite and Albatross Street, Vineta North, Swakamund. Call us on 064-462-242. Visit platsamir.com.na or at Platsamir on Facebook. Platts Amir, enhancing your coastal experience. It was a great weekend for some rugby and netball action. And of course, Team Oirongo Talk was there to bring you the latest of what's happening here at the coast. Now, if you missed the rugby and netball live engagements, do not despair as here we bring you the highlights. Of we can hear it, Ries of Verdoel, but they are self ungetekend. Yeah, and the lake of the Kudos, what are the scribbles? And this is the part here, and this is here, but the part here, and the part of you, right? Here in the scene, I told us the lake. Olario says, you can't, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ons is in die geselskap van Cameron Lengenhoven, die spankaptein van Kudus op Premier League gespan. Hoe gaan het Cameron? Kan nie klaar nie, ons is hier in Wafels baie vandag. Die son skyn, span is gereed om op die veel te draf, so het is een goeie dag vandag. Sê Cameron, jy het verlede week een goeie ene ten Junem gehad. Yes, ons het laas week ten Junem gespeel in Windhoek. Ons het die wen gekry, so dit het ons gejaap ons op ons beplanning, op ons koers om ons home semifinaal te kry hier jaar. Ja, sê, wat een goeie punte trek jy uit die wedstrijd? Een ding wat baie goed was, forwards, het gedomineer, visies, contact, ons het gedrijf, goed saamgewerk en as een span, so van die kant af, van die siening af, het ons goed gedoen. Ja, sê, Cameron, is daar enige spelers in jou span wat redig na vore kom? Yes, definitief. Op die oomblik, amal speel goeie rugby, amal is op goeie vorm en ek dink die resultate weis dit. Ons het Lizardo Vos goed in die lijn staan het, Josie al die namibiese manne wat teruggekom het, en dan het ons ook manne soos Kruik Swartz, ons vast kop stit, hy speel hier vandag nie, maar hy is een uitblinker. Achterlijn het ons vir Esten en Palo ons vleels wat baie hard werk, so ons het redelike klomp uitblinkers in ons span, wat amal hard werk, amal in die systeem, amal improve op hulle rugby, so is ook goed om te sien. Die manne bring hulle kan. Yes, definitief. Cameron, wat is julle speelplan vir vandag? So, yes, ons bly by een structuurde patroon wat ons uitgesit het van die begin van die jaar af en wat ons sukses bring so ver. Dit lyk my die wind kom een bykie op, so ons had definitief ons skopvoete gebruik, ons het vir Chad, ons het vir Rilio vandag. So, hulle gaan vir ons in die beste area sit om te speel. As ons daar kom en dan druk ons hulle weer vast met die forwards, maar yes, ons kyk maar wat maak die wind en dan adjust ons volgens dit. Sê Cameron, ten slotte, wat sal jy graag vir jou spelers wil sê en vir jou ondersteuners daarby te? Vir jou ondersteuners wil ons net sê, ons hoop ons siek, ons kom nommers uit vandag, is een bykie vroeg nog, maar ek geloof ons sal, ons sal nommers het. Het is die eerste keer in Kourous geschiedenis waar ons reirig so goed doen. So ek moedig die supporters aan om uit te kom op Satra te kom kyk en deel te wees van geschiedenis wat ons maak. Want ek bedoel, as ons hierdie jare een thuis semifinaal krijg, sal het die eerste keer in geschiedenis wees wat Kourous het recht krijg. Ons mikpunt is obviously om een liga te wen. Nie net het semifinaal te maak en ek geloof ons is op koers staan. So dit is ook deel van geschiedenis. So ek nooi al die toeskouwers uit, kom kyk rugby, kom sien wat die manne kan doen. En dan vir my spelers... Hulle weet wat om te doen, hulle is aangemoedig, hulle is recht, so ons moet net hierdie ene deur trek, baie belangrik. Baie, baie, dankie Cameron. Dat is recht, dankie Otis. Thanks boss. Wat geen in die tijd van hulle nie? Kom aan man, kom aan man, yes! Thank you. 
And now we bring you the highlights of the NTC Netball Premier League games that took place on Sunday. Very good, another goal for Navy and they are reeling in. But don't, don't despair about um, Northern Flyers. There was within distance infringement. Too close or too far? It's too close in intercepting. You must have be a, a three feet distance. Okay. Good fighting in the circle here for a ball. Very good rolling. And there she has the ball. Attempting for shot. And it's in for Northern Flyers. Okay, it's Navy Centre Pass now. It's, there they go. Okay, they have it. Smooth play. Very good interception. Goal defense of Northern Flyers. That was over the third. Okay. Almost in. She misses the ball. Wing defense takes a long shot over to goal shooter, which has a successful shot. Donovan, these long balls work sometimes. If you aim your ball properly, then you can easily go to a, a goal shoot. But then the communication, the eye communication must be good. Since you find yourself at the helm of the Irongo netball, um, what has been happening here on the ground? What is the state of netball here in our region? Currently in the Irongo region, we, we have a uh, first division consisting of eight teams and the second division consisting of four teams. So far, we are starting with the second leg of the league next weekend, which is the weekend of the 23rd. Here at the same venue, all the eight clubs, all the 12 clubs will be here playing out. And then by the end of the season, the winners of the league will be playing, either they will play playoffs or they will go automatically, because currently, this is the second season of, of, of MTC. The first two seasons, the winners of each and every league just used to go automatically. But I think now, probably, hopefully, maybe there will be playoffs. Even though you win here in the region, but still you are going to be playing playoffs against the other regions to get the four. Because in Premier League, there's 12 teams. Out of the 12, four must be relegated. So when four get relegated, the other four must come up. Uh, that's it. Fingers crossed, basically. Yes, yes. And then we, in the Rongo First Division League, who's leading the lock is uh, Precept MC, it's a newly established team, and then Angus. Yes. Um, but they are going to battle for, uh, for the first top position. Yeah. And tell us, where do you see the future of the sport here in our region? Now, the future of the sport in our region is great. As we are speaking now, currently in the Navy team, we have five players in the national team. And out of the five, two are development players. One is Rochelle and the other one is Monique. And so, you know, even if you check in the, in the under 20 also, the current under 20 which went with the desert girls to Malawi, there is also five from the region. So we are striving for the culture and we want to better our region. And we are not going to stop. So actually, we will call companies like 
a Rongo Red who used to be always our mothers and everything. We used to be supported by the governor's office. So we we'll call out for all those members to come on board and at least to we'll support the ending sport which is now happening because as you know football is dead. There is still this football politics but now netball is now the one which is living life. So if there is any sponsorship or any donation they can give for them please to come out. We are preaching to them to the companies outside there. Africa Good Morning is a current affairs program that brings you the latest from Southern Africa and beyond. The show aims to reach people in Southern Africa that have an interest in current affairs, African news and African stories, focusing on news within African borders, including correspondence on the ground across the region, economic news, sports, international news, anchor interviews and more. Africa Good Morning is broadcasted on NTV, OneUp2.com and cross-shared on the following Facebook platforms. Africa Good Morning, The Republican, Agamana Zeitung and Namibian Sun as well as Namibia Media Holdings. For any advertising or news related queries, contact AGM at Synergy.com.na. Africa Good Morning, bringing Africa to you. Choose your flex package with Paratus today. Sign up for ultra-fast fiber with the convenience of mobile LTE. That's two products in one bundle. It's new, it's one bill, and you can stay connected in more than one location. For more information, visit paratus.africa forward slash na. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, welcome to another exciting edition.
And that brings us to the end of today's show. We thank you for joining us. And uh, please uh, go visit our website at irongu.com.na. Our news is also posted onto our uh, social media platforms, which Facebook, uh, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, if you want to leave us some news tips, you can uh, either email it to the below address, or you can either call us or uh, send us a message to the below number. And uh, yeah, of course, we also on television stations at GoTV, uh, OneUp2.com, and as well as NTV, which is on DSTV. So go check that out and uh, remember uh, to keep today and the rest of the week magic until we see you again. Bye-bye.